Okay, we have here a one-week-old Irish Sport Horse filly foal. She was born ten days early, and uh, she was a big, big filly foal, so she's probably compromised a little bit in utero, and as a result, she was a little bit squashed up. So she was weak behind, was very, very roached or kyphotic through the lumbar spine, was a little bit on her toes. This is the third time she's been checked, and she's improved considerably. Along with her chiropractic adjustments, of course, she had concurrent veterinary care, which consisted of oxytocin injection, which also helped her along the way quite a bit. So the main adjustment that we found was this L4, L5, 4th and 5th lumbar vertebra in the area that was kyphotic. And we're just going to recheck this again today. So we're looking to see if there's any restriction or fixation. And where we find a little bit of restriction, we release it with a small bit of pressure. The other area that we found to be involved was the near or left hind sacroiliac joint here. So we involve a little bit of pressure on that joint. And as you can see, it doesn't require much force at all. It's about being accurate and specific. Okay, so as we see now, we go back through that lumbar spine. There's a nice bit of give. Bounce through that curve. We always want to make sure that we check the entire spine, particularly up at the elantal occipital joint here, as this is important to be able to flex these themselves properly. Just a little bit of rotation here. That's all that's required. Go down through the cervical spine, and there's no problem evident there. Back through to recheck the lumbars. Nice bounce and movement through everything. No restriction, no fixation, and that's ensuring that we don't have any lesions where the nerve root exits the IVF. Okay, very good. So in summary here, the, the benefit really was catching a problem early. The problem was we had a lumbar kyphosis that was a result of this foal being compromised, a large foal inside the mare there. We caught it within the first couple of days, along with the veterinary care, it's made a considerable improvement now. So what was potentially a big problem has been avoided. That's really the benefit in preventive and, and proactive work that uh, if we were to leave that alone and allow that to be established in a pattern in this animal, we would affect the way it moves and then, of course, its muscular development and its proprioception. Proprioception is how the brain gets information from the body and affects the animal's athletic movement and gross movement as well. So the purpose of early intervention is to get the best possible outcome for the animal. It's a valuable animal. We want to see her do really, really well.